Hello everyone and welcome back to ASFM and to sixth grade. We are so excited to have you here this year and we want to get to know you. So you're going to create an awesome e-portfolio that you're going to use all year. Today you're going to create the This Is Me page of your portfolio in this class. So you're going to go ahead and go to sites.google.com. Make sure that you are in your ASFM Google account and you're going to start a new blank site. All right. So once you get to your site, you do need three pages. The first page is the This Is Me page, but you also need to insert two more pages. Me as a learner, done, and me as part of a community. These pages you're going to do in other classes, so don't worry if you do not get to doing these today. But you are going to go back to home and you are going to be able to start your work on This Is Me. Make sure you're always looking at your instructions. So first, you want to introduce yourself. A way to do that is to add a picture and text layout. So you drag and drop, and you can add your picture. So most likely, you guys are gonna be uploading your pictures. I have a picture of me here. I'm gonna open it, and you can make your picture longer. You can double click on your picture and zoom in or out and you can edit your text I wrote about me and here it says you want to include a short summary of you. So hi, my name is Ms. Sembrano. So here if you're worried about am I doing this right? Is this the way my site should look like, uh, how much information am I supposed to add, you can go to my own website and click on it and you're going to see an example of what the expectations are for your site. So here I'm going to add what I wrote and that's about as much as I want you guys to write. Where I was born, um, where I've lived, where I've taught, so what you've done, what schools have you gone to, um, who's in your family, and then a little bit about uh, this year. Are you excited for this year? Are you worried about this year? Add a little extra there. What is our second thing to do? Some fun facts about you. So, to add some fun facts, you are going to add a new section. How do I do that? I go down here, I click on text box, and I'm going to get a new section. So, I want my title first. Fun, fun facts. And then I'm going to add another text box. And that's going to be my normal text. And I did mine in bullet points. So, my fun facts are right here, and I do five. You can do as many as you want to. Make sure you stick to at least five. We can read these now, or we can read these later. And then what's next? Who are you in five pictures? I thought this was a really fun one. I added this template right here, and then I wanted to add two more pictures above. So I did, I think, to this template here, and you can delete the ones that you're not going to use, and you can even move these around. Oops. You can even move these around or make them bigger. That. It takes a lot of playing around, and then here I wanted to insert a text box. Do you have to do it the same way I did? No. There's no need 
to add your pictures the same way I did. You can add your pictures however you want, but this is where I added this is me in five pictures. And I want this to be a title size, right? And so here you start uploading your pictures. You can see that this one has text underneath. If you want to add text underneath, all you need to do is double click on the page. So here I'm going to double click and I get a text box. I'm going to double click, oops, maybe down here, double click and you get this. This is an image, an upload from a drive so you can add documents to embed, which you're not going to be doing a lot of, and text, right? I didn't get the text box where I wanted it, oops. So I'm going to move it, move this text box, and you can see how I'm moving it, and now it goes to where I want it to go. So like I said, a lot of playing around. So I went back and filled in my pictures to where I could have the pictures I wanted, and I wrote inside my captions a little explanation. So what's next? I go back to the This Is Me portfolio and it says make a list of your four favorite things. What I like here is that you can go back to the templates, the layouts here, and here it's a, it has four pictures. So I drag and I drop and so I can upload four of my favorite things. So I did upload I think, a mango, and my favorite food is sushi and my favorite color is purple and i do like to travel so you can also do a map you don't have to upload images you can do a youtube video like my favorite music or my favorite time of year so i did a map and my favorite place is bora oops bora bora in French Polynesia, right in the middle of the Pacific. And so I'm going to select that. And I can just add, I love to travel. Um, my favorite color is purple. Um, and stuff like that. Don't forget, if you want to add a title, you click text box. Now here, it's not where I want it to be. I want my title to be at the top. So I drag and I drop. I choose that I want it to be a title. And my favorite things. Right? Then we go back. What else do I need to do? Next, create an avatar or a bitmoji that tells us something about you. So I already have my own little bitmoji and it is right here so i'm going to copy my bitmoji okay, my bitmoji so i'm going to copy my bitmoji and add it right here i use the bitmoji app i will share another tutorial for that later and then you need a picture and a written reflection. So what is a hobby? What is a passion? What is something of interest to you? Something that you like to do uh, at school, an extracurricular activity, a favorite activity? Um, do you go to Presa de la Boca? Do you go hiking in Chipinque? Do you like to go to La Huasteca? Something you've been doing during quarantine and you're gonna describe the activity. How did you become interested? How long have you been doing it for? How do you get to practice the skills you need for success and what keeps you interested or engaged in it? So here you would insert maybe another layout and write about your hobby. So traveling is my hobby. I copy pasted the questions and I answered my questions, right? I wrote a paragraph for each question. I want you to describe, we want to get to know you better. And then I chose a picture, but not only did I choose a picture, I was exploring and I saw that I could add an image carousel. So you can add more than one picture if you would like to do that. What does that look like in the end? If you click on view published site, you can scroll through the pictures, right? So, when you are done, 
I'm going to copy this whole thing into my new site. When you are done, you don't forget to publish your site. If you don't publish your site, no one's going to be able to see it, right? Um, you can also change your image here. Um, they have many images available if you just want to pick one from here. Or you can upload your own image. And I have a great one that I love to use of my colored pencils. Yeah, right? And you're done. You can change, you can edit, you can make it more incredible. I want you to take your time and then publish your site. Here you're going to choose your web address. I chose my last name, but it's already taken. So maybe I use my first initial and then my last name, and that is available. Anyone at ASFM should be able to view my site. Make sure you have that on, and then you click Publish. Once you have published your site, I would like you to send us the link. This is your link to your site. If you click on it and copy that link, you'll be able to send it to us on a Google form. And everyone at ASFM is going to be able to take a look at your wonderful site.